India is a largely agriculture-based economy, with sugarcane as one of its major crops. At present, most of India's sugarcane is processed into sugar, molasses, ethanol and bagasse at very large plants, which are located very far away from the fields. But this results in a huge amount of value being lost, because sugarcane loses energy for every hour that it is transported. The large plants are becoming unviable, due to the non-availability of assured quality raw materials. Sugarcane is also converted into jaggery. This takes place at small-scale traditional setups. Although these are closer to the fields, they are very inefficient because of their use of old technology. In this video, we are going to introduce a modern technology for processing sugarcane close to the fields, which is much more economical and efficient than the existing large plants. Sugarcane farming in India is not profitable at present. It is also inefficient, since crop transportation means that almost all of the valuable nutrients are taken away, instead of being returned to the soil as part of the living cycle. 65% of sugarcane consists of what is known as non-food biomass, which includes the leaves, the stem and the roots. This biomass is a huge potential source of renewable energy. It can be used in many ways. For instance, it can be reprocessed and converted into other energy resources. We should think of sugarcane not as a sweetener, but as an energy crop. This is a traditional way of processing sugarcane to produce jaggery. The process is fairly simple. Firstly, we need a power source of some kind. The sugarcane is crushed to extract the juice which contains the sugar. The juice is then boiled, which requires a great deal of heat. It is then reduced and cooled, and finally we have jaggery. In this traditional plant, biomass is burnt in the boiler, which creates pollution. Now let's look at a radical new technology for jaggery production, a method which is highly energy efficient and which can process sugarcane within the farm itself. Spray Engineering Devices Limited has installed a fully operational jaggery plant at Chaliskowan, Maharashtra, which is significantly more efficient than a sugar plant of a similar capacity. The dry residue left after the extraction of sugarcane juice is known as bagasse, which is a valuable biofuel. Traditional jaggery units consume all of their bagasse as boiler fuel. In this SED plant, no boiler is installed, which saves 100% of the bagasse. Mechanical vapour recompression technology is used for juice evaporation and concentration. No steam is used in this process, only recycled and recompressed vapours are used for evaporation and concentration. More than 96% of the juice from the sugarcane is extracted via imbibition in four milling tandem planetary drives. Traditional jaggery units only extract around 75-80% to of the juice. Since this plant doesn't burn biomass, no harmful gases are released to pollute the environment. This working prototype of automatic and hygienic jaggery production technology produces jaggery in solid, semi-solid and cake form without the use of any hazardous chemicals. This seasonally produced jaggery is an industrial raw material that would be available for further processing into sugar, ethanol, bioplastics and chemical stream operating plants all year round. Many functions can be added to this technology in the future. These SED plants can increase the income of farmers by allowing them to use modern technology to process sugarcane into jaggery right at their farms. The transportation costs are minimal and biomass can be converted into pellets, biodegradable plastic, biogas, chemicals and other valuable products. With this innovative jaggery production technology, SED has brought intelligence to the farm by integrating agriculture and industry in one place.